Coming up next on Auto Show TV, the SUV and crossover market is booming. We get the details at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. Plus, a look at how the custom work gets done at Sound Effects in Warwick. Also, Al Cerrone discusses the GM recalls and how it's affected his business. A profile of Hyundai of Newport. And the penalties are tougher now if you're convicted of DUI in Rhode Island. We learn about the LifeSafer Ignition Interlock device. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, I'm John Coletto. Welcome to Auto Show TV. First up, interesting news from the folks who keep track of these kinds of things. For the first time, Americans are buying and leasing more SUVs and crossovers than sedans. Who would have thought that 10 or 15 years ago? Now most car makers have several SUV and crossover models to choose from. To find out more, we've come here to Majestic Honda in Lincoln. We're with Casey Martin, one of our Auto Show TV go-to experts and certainly our Honda expert. So are you surprised by this news that crossovers and SUVs are outperforming sedans? Um, not really. We've, kind of, we've seen the trend for the last few years where people really like the utility of the SUV. And since now, most of them are all car-based. They're getting the safety, the reliability, and the fuel economy as a vehicle versus the original SUVs from 20 years ago, which were all truck-based. And is this trend also something that you see here at Majestic? Absolutely. Uh, we, uh, sales of CRVs have always been strong, but now they're actually surpassing the Civic and Accord some months. And again, the biggest contributing factor is the technology's gotten so good, but the fuel economy increase has been the key. Years ago, when you were getting 13, 14 miles a gallon with the SUV, it wasn't the most efficient vehicle to own. But now we're getting into the mid to high, even high 20s in the highway, which is amazing for a vehicle of this quality and technology. Yeah. Years ago, there was an SUV buyer and there was a, uh, a sedan buyer, and that's not the case anymore. Every day we see people come in, they want to test drive a sedan and an SUV uh, to compare because the uh, added visibility, the being a little higher up, and the yeah. utility of having the extra cargo space not on top of the all-wheel drive system that's available makes them a real popular choice. And for the first half of 2014, the number one selling SUV slash crossover is this guy right here, the CRV. So why is this so popular? Why does everybody love it? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, since they redesigned the vehicle in 2012, they finally added a lot of the newer technology buyers are looking for. Um, they come standard, even in the lowest model, with the backup camera, with the USB connectivity for their, for their music, with Bluetooth technology for wireless talking or uh, using the cell phone. On top of that, uh, it's rated extremely high in safety, fuel economy, number one in resale value, uh, and it's just a great all-around vehicle. So let's take a closer look. Take us around and uh, you know, show us some more. Absolutely. Another feature that people tell us is important to them with the SUVs is the actual ease of getting in and out of the vehicle. Some people uh, have back problems, um, and sure. you'll notice is the seat height is very close to your hip height. So someone who might have a back problem, it's very easy to just spin and get in and out of the vehicle without getting too low to the ground like a traditional sedan. You'll notice almost all of the SUVs now no longer have the tire on the back. Right. You know, and one of the main contributing reasons for that is the amount of damage the car would sustain in a minor fender bender. When the tire was on the back, if you were just touched up against something, because you had a solid tire and rim, it would actually push the whole hatch in. So almost all the manufacturers decided that it was much better to have the spare inside the vehicle instead of on the outside. Yeah. Give us the demonstration here, Case. Sure. As you can see, there's a lot of room inside the vehicle. Um, this is with the seats, of course, folded up right now, so you have a traditional five-passenger vehicle. But just look at the height and the depth you yep. have to store lots of cargo. Yep. Um, all of them do come with, the, well, the EX model and above come with the sunshade here, too, which is more or less a security shade. Uh, so when the, this is closed, you can't see the cargo underneath. So if you have an expensive set of golf clubs or something of value, the people on the outside cannot see it. Yeah. And I noticed that this, this part of the back is almost straight up and down. It just gives you that little bit of extra storage back here, right? Exactly. And that was the, one of the things they've changed is they, they used to be a little angled more. Right. Uh, the downside to that is, of course, you lose some cargo capacity. So by having the height higher up here before it tilts, you have that depth. Sure. It gives you a lot more space. Yep. And then you've got your 60-40 split. Absolutely correct. Here's a 40 and there's a 60. And they've changed it. So now all you have to do is pull the handle here the seat will fold down all by itself. And of course, the shade is removable, so if you need all that space with both down, you can see there's a lot of potential storage. Yep, and the spare tire's down here. Yep. 
folds right up. And there the spare go. tire, not only the other advantage to the spare tire being inside, it's clean. So if right. you do have to change a tire, you now don't have a dirty tire on the outside. Or like a lot of SUVs that are stored underneath the vehicle, well, after many years of salt and dirt, it tends to get either rusted or becomes um, very dirty to work with. <laughs> and Casey, I think one of the other maybe misconceptions about the SUV category, particularly with the, the Honda CRV, is that, well, they must not be very fuel economical, but they are, aren't they? Yeah, they have, and they've really come a long way. And this model now, with the 14 CRVs, is actually rated at 30 miles per gallon on the highway, which when you consider it's all wheel drive and all the utility you get from the vehicle, it's really amazing. How do they do it? Well, the technology keeps getting better and better. Um, they've gotten more efficient engines, more efficient transmissions, and they've been able to raise the gas mileage from what used to be mediocre to excellent. This model is the EX with the cloth interior, but they have models with leather interior, models with navigation, and there's also a lot of other options you can add to the vehicle, like the roof rails with crossbars, so you can add even more cargo capacity to the top of the vehicle. Yep. And why should people come here to Majestic? I think I know the reason, but, <laughs> but I want you to tell the viewers. Well, besides me, of course, Majestic's <laughs> been here 40 years. Uh, we're the oldest Honda dealership, and oldest and original Honda dealership in Rhode Island. We got two great locations for your convenience, West Warwick, uh, southern part of Rhode Island, and of course here in Lincoln in the northern part of the state. Um, great place to come buy a vehicle. We got great inventory between both stores and you'll have a great experience here. And August is a great time to buy. Absolutely, it's the uh, Honda Clarence event. Uh, it started uh, a couple weeks ago. It's gonna go all the way through the middle of September. We have a lot of 14 still being made and shipped to us, so availability is still excellent. Uh, so it's a great time of year to get the color you want and the price. Today we're here at Sound SoundFX Route 2 in Warwick. I'm Johnny Mack and we're here with Eddie Soares, product specialist here at the store. Eddie, people can come in and say they want to upgrade their car stereos, but where's the first place to start? Let me show you. Um, the first place that I'd recommend starting is changing out the speakers in the car. Uh, many cars come with different sizes and shapes and that's what we're here for. We're going to show you what you need. The most entry level setup that you'd want to change out to would be going something with higher efficiency and a better cone design. An entry level setup would get you something like this right here, a nice little six and a half coaxial speaker. That's the most common size that are in cars today. And then going up in range, you might want to go to a component set. That's something like this with a separate tweeter for the highs and a separate midwoofer for the lows. So there are many options, but people just can't come in and say they want the biggest one because they have to go along with the specifications of the speaker size in the door. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to get, most likely for a, a basic setup, you have to get the same size that you have in the car. However, we can customize your car to put any size you'd like in there. If you wanted to boost the sound of the speakers or power up your subwoofer in the system, you'd choose an amplifier. We have different settings for amplifiers. We have some that only power subwoofers. We also have some that will power the entire system, such as a five channel. Very cool, and we're talking about custom, and you're all about custom with speaker boxes. Let's go take a look how you make them. We actually like to call this our fabrication room. And what we do in here is we build all of our boxes. Uh, this here is our CNC machine. We're one of the only shops in the entire Northeast that has one of these. And we can use it to uh, custom build subwoofer boxes for our clients, or we can also mass produce our boxes and sell them wholesale. John, this is the computer that we uh, use to program the multicam router that we have here. Um, what we have here on the screen is uh, a logo that you provided us for the Auto Show TV uh, show. And what we do here is, is we take the file, put it in our software, and then we, uh, we can clean it up, change it, uh, stretch it, do whatever we need to do. And from here, this will tell the router to cut that exact picture. What we're going to do is cut that exact uh, rectangle there on the outside, and then on the inside, the Auto Show logo would be uh, described almost like it's uh, uh, etched out of the material. And the material we'll be using is uh, medium density fiberboard or MDF. Um, from here, um, it'll get cleaned up and then um, my technician will uh, fabricate it further uh, by upholstering it uh, using some carpet uh, and suede. Right here is a uh, depiction of a subwoofer enclosure. Um, so my uh, programmer um, will program these particular um, shapes and sizes um, so that um, they can be, once again, produced on the machine and the benefit here is that each piece is exact, it's perfect, it's perfect every time. We can replicate it um, a thousand times and it's always perfect. Um, we can also make changes, uh, we can do inlays, we can 
uh, do a number of different things uh, with this machine. And once again, the benefit is uh, to be perfect and precise, and that's what customers are paying for. They're paying for not something that someone's cutting on a table saw with uh, imprecise cuts. The machine always cuts it perfectly. Well, you can get anything done from custom box to upgrading your car's speakers. Eddie, thanks a lot for showing us around. Visit Sound Effects online anytime or stop down here in Warwick on Route 2. Next up, Al Cerrone discusses the GM recalls. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We came to Sandy Motors to see what their inventory was like, looked around, and I spotted this lovely Mercedes behind me. Took it for a test drive. Absolutely loved it. I can tell you that I've recommended Sandy Motors to many of my friends, and I know some of them have purchased cars here. Uh, one of the reasons is I trust Sandy Motors. I know they're going to treat everyone fairly. Uh, it was such a great experience and a pleasant experience, actually, such that we came right back here when we needed to purchase a car for our youngest daughter. If you've got a business, you probably rely on your truck to keep you in business. At Elmwood, we've been servicing the best businesses in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass for over 30 years. We've got one of the only heavy-duty truck lifts in New England, and we service everything. Dodges, Fords, Chevys, or GMC. And we specialize in Sprinters. No matter what brand, we're a factory-authorized Sprinter service center. And for your convenience, we're open all day on Saturdays, and we'll even provide you with a loaner vehicle. The Elmwood Heavy-Duty Truck Center on Route 44 in East Providence or online at elmwoodcdjr.com. Whether it's a dazzling diamond engagement ring, a heartfelt gift, or something for yourself, come to Hanoush Jewelers in Warwick. We carry all the new styles, the most popular brands, and a superb selection of loose diamonds and wedding bands. Grooms-to-be trust Hanoush Jewelers in Warwick for our expertise and their peace of mind, because we know you may need some help making just the right selection. Come see why the perfect marriage proposal starts with a spectacular diamond from Hanoush Jewelers, Route 2 in Warwick. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. While many automakers have issued major recalls in 2014, General Motors has been taking most of the media scrutiny. GM has contributed to nearly three quarters of the recalled vehicles so far this year. GM's internal handling of its faulty ignition switch landed CEO Mary Barra on the hot seat. This should have never happened. It is unacceptable. We are better than this, but we have to own this problem and we have to have the courage to deal with it in the right way. So what has this meant locally? Auto Show TV sat down for a little one-on-one -on -one with Al Cerrone from Cerrone Chevrolet Buick GMC in South Attleboro. So Al, what has been your reaction to the GM recalls and, and all of the publicity that has followed? Well, John, I'm, I'm glad that you asked me this. I'm glad someone has asked me this question because it, it's tough to see my company, General Motors, a company that I love so dearly and it's been such a big part of my life for so many years sure. be under the microscope that it is right now but this is the car business and it's a recall and recalls happen and they happen to every manufacturer for a variety of reasons and when they do it's up to us as a GM representative to get that recalled vehicle fixed as quickly as possible and and let's face it I mean there are thousands of parts in every car and truck and sometimes the part just isn't right and it needs to be made better and it needs to be replaced and that's what we do. 
What do you want the people watching to know about all of this? Well, first of all, and most importantly, I want them to know that we really care. And I think every dealer really cares because they put themselves in their, in their shoes. You don't want your car to be inconvenient or tied up because people need that car. They drive it every day. It takes them to work. It takes them out in the middle of the night. It, it takes them through snowstorms. The car has to be right. And we care about that because we don't want you here in our dealership and we don't want you unhappy. So if people understand that and they come in with the right frame of mind that we are gonna do everything we can to get that part, that new part in their vehicle. And most of these operations that, that they do, the recalls, are small time. It's less than an hour. The parts are not expensive and it can be done very, very quickly. All we have to do is get the parts from General Motors, in our case, and we get it in as quickly as we can. The customer never pays. No, GM, in this case, pays for everything, parts and labor. What has all this meant to your business? Obviously, we've been impacted, and other dealers have been impacted as well. Sure. And we keep abreast of the news just like everyone else, but we are in this for the long haul. We've been taking care of customers' cars and trucks for almost 40 years, and hopefully we go another 40 years. So how are sales? Sales are very, very good. We're selling a lot of cars and trucks, and so is General Motors. As a matter of fact, with the technology that they have today, I believe that these are the safest cars and trucks that we have ever sold. So tell me about your increased staff and all the, the steps you've taken to really take this seriously. Well, to deal with the recalls, four things come to mind immediately. First of all, is we have increased our parts inventory probably up to $30,000. We want to have more parts. We want to have the parts ready. When you call, you come in, we can get it done right away. And secondly, we've increased our administrative staff in service because we need extra bodies to answer the phone calls, make the appointments, and process the paperwork. Thirdly, We've added some technicians, and of course, always top flight technicians to deal with these recall issues. Sure. And fourthly, we've increased our hours in service. We're open now, Monday through Thursday, till seven o'clock at night. Fridays till six o'clock, and Saturdays we're open till five. How about for GM owners, maybe they bought a pre-owned car mm -hmm. and they're not sure they're ever gonna get a notice in the mail, how can they try to find out if their I'm, cars I'm been glad affected. that you asked that question because GM has set up a website specifically for this and when you contact the website they will tell you if your vehicle you have to have your vehicle identification number so get your registration so you can you know type it in and and that website will tell you if your vehicle is involved in any recall I want to ask you about Mary Barra because she is now running GM and she has been kind of thrown into the fire a little bit. How do you think she's done handling all of this? I think Mary Barra has stood tall, and uh, I mean, I'm not privy to all the details, but I, I read up about it, and I can only imagine the intense scrutiny that this woman has been put under, and, and for a problem that she really didn't create. And right. although she's been with GM for a while, she's part of the culture. I don't think she's part of the culture that she wants to fix, which is being so upfront so straightforward with people. If you make a mistake, admit it right away. Don't hide it and hope it's gonna go away because it isn't. And so I give her a 10 out of 10. Any doubt in your mind that General Motors is gonna learn from this? No doubt in my mind that they will. I mean, we all make mistakes, including General Motors, and it's just a matter of how we respond to it. And, and I wanna cite an example. Look at Toyota. Several years ago, Toyota recalled almost 20 million vehicles for a variety of reasons, some of them very, very serious. Right. They did the right thing, they fessed up, and look where they are today. And I have no doubt GM is in the same position. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. 
If you've been in an accident, you need your car fixed quickly and hassle-free, and more importantly, repaired to pre-accident condition. Auto Intelligence provides a list of five-star recommended collision repair shops in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass. These shops utilize the latest technology and industry standards and adhere to our strict code of ethics and business practices. They have earned a place on our recommended list. Automotive information, research, and recommendations. Find it all at autointelligence.org. Sakuchi is the name to drive. Buying a pre-owned car but not looking forward to the hassle? At Sakuchi Honda, all of our pre-owned vehicles are part of our one price program. Instead of having to haggle to get the best price, all of our pre-owned car prices are pre-negotiated. You just have to come in to get the best price up front. Sakuchi Honda in Middletown or online at sakuchi.com. The best deal made easy. Struggling with sleep apnea? Absolute Respiratory Care can help. We are owned and operated by two respiratory therapists. They each are actively taking part in the business every day. We have a team approach. Whether it's our team here at the office working together, working with them, working with the patient. Absolute Respiratory Care carries a wide variety of CPAP masks and the latest sleep therapy technology. We take pride in going above and beyond for our patients. For a better night's sleep, choose Absolute Respiratory Care. Hi, I'm Jim Melvin from Melvin's Tire Pros, celebrating 40 years of family-owned service excellence. We've been Southern New England's premier tire retailer offering fast, competent service. At Melvin's Tire Pros, everything rotates around you. We guarantee the lowest price on all brands of tires, but you'll also get fast, in-and-out service while you wait. All backed by the industry's strongest warranty, featuring free roadside assistance. Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires is never a hassle. We got our first uh, Subaru from Anchor in 1996. It was a great car. We loved it, and the service at Anchor has been fabulous. So we've gotten six more since then. And uh, there was no question, and the Crosstrek fit the bill. A, a nice small SUV, great gas mileage. Um, uh, basically, we needed that kind of, a little more of a utility vehicle. And don't forget the cute wheels. And the cute wheels. I like the cute wheels. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. My name is Paul Mika. I'm owner of Hyundai of Newport. Um, I've done business in this building since 1992. Uh, first as a Toyota dealer, uh, then we are through the place and moved it and brought Hyundai in here and it's been an exciting experience to have Hyundai in this location. People come here because I believe we treat them better. In fact, that's what they tell me. That goes all the way to um, if you buy a car from us, uh, we will um, have loaner cars for you when you bring your car in for service. And if you can't come here, we'll pick up your car. We have a 75 mile radius as the crow flies. So uh, that encompasses just about all of Rhode Island and Southern Massachusetts. And we pick up the car even if it's just for an oil change. We always have felt that uh, we're part of a, an exciting community, number one. I mean, obviously, a lot of people would pinch themselves trying to you know, live in Newport. So we want to uh, pay back to the community since we live here. What we have started a long time ago, almost 20 years ago now, a uh, scholarship fund. Uh, we have contributed to uh, things like the um, kitchen at the Middletown Senior Center. We were instrumental in getting that done. And other things, there's always something going on. We'd love to have you come. Um, come to uh, Middletown. Our address is 1133 West Main Road. Come and visit with us. I think you'll find it a nice experience. Now, Auto Show TV's Driving Safety, presented by the Law Office of Attorney Lawrence Signori. I'm Attorney Larry Signori. Please, let's all work together to keep Rhode Island roadways safe. So if you've been convicted of drunk driving, either in Rhode Island or Mass, the judge or the DMV may order you to install one of these in your vehicle. It's an ignition interlock device. I'm sure you've heard of them. You blow into the mouthpiece in order to start your car. We wonder just how these work and if they're reliable. 
We're at Barrington Auto Service, one of the local installers of these devices, and this is Michelle Fontaine. She's from New England Interlock, and you are the local licensee for the Lifesaver product. Yes. So this is it. It's an ignition interlock device. It's installed in vehicles to prevent people from drinking and driving. So how does it work? All right, it's hardwired into the ignition system, and I can show you right now. Okay. And this is a demo model, so we can we can show you how. All right, it works. the wait light is on. It's heating up. The fuel set uh, cell to take a test. Now it's asking for a blow. Okay. Take a nice deep breath. I got to say the word "do" and blow for five seconds. Okay. <laughs> I passed. So you passed. So, so I'd be able to start my car. The car will start. And if you fail? It would not allow you to start. It would go to fail. It would go back to wait and allow you to rinse your mouth out with water if it was some kind of a contaminant like mouthwash or something. And then you could take another test. Okay. Now, what about people who decide, well, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to rip it out somehow. What happens? Well, the device is pretty smart. It detects, it comes up in the events log that power has been disconnected. It comes up that the car has been, the engine has been started without a test being taken. And, okay. and it also will put you in an early recall when, when it detects that. So you have to bring it in and, and to have it looked at, inspected and downloaded and have the car, you know, reported. And as far as the the legal limits, it's not really its not really calibrated to the legal limit, it's, it's, it's any amount of alcohol essentially, correct? It, it picks up any alcohol, but for Rhode Island it's set at 0.03 for a fail, and you know, of course it's 0.08, so it's well under the limit, so it's really abstinence. Michelle, nobody wants to have to deal with this, we don't want anybody drinking and driving. There's also an expense involved in, in all of this too. Yep, the standard install is $85, and then it's roughly about $85 a, a month. Michelle, what happens if somebody gets the bright idea of having somebody else blow into the device for them? Well, it has a rolling retest feature. Five minutes after the car is started, it asks for another test. And then it's every 15 to 45 minutes after that. So it's a random chip, so you don't know how, how often it's going to ask. So what happens if you fail at that point? Does the car just automatically shut off? Yeah, no, it doesn't shut off because that would be a hazard. Right. The horn starts um, blowing and the device will ask for another test. Bottom line, these are no fun for people, right? Yeah, no, they're not. You want to try to prevent it, getting one as much as you can. Rhode Island lawmakers have recently passed and the governor has signed a new law that requires judges and magistrates to mandate the use of one of these ignition interlock devices on a first drunk driving offense of 0.15 BAC or over for three months to a year in addition to all the other penalties. They may also require this device now on 0.08 offenses. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. That'll put the wraps on this week's Auto Show TV. Thanks for tuning in. I'm John Coletto. Have a safe week on the roads, and please, don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.